Now our main focus in this chapter on graphing will be working with equations with two variables. Generally we'll call those variables x and y. And so our task now is we want to find points from an equation. We want to find points from an equation. So consider the equation here 2x plus 3y equals 12. Now in the past we've solved linear equations that had only one variable. And when we did that we got a single answer for just x. Uh, but now uh, our equation has two variables uh, and that means there's going to be a lot uh, a lot more possible solutions. And We're going to kind of see this as we approach this problem. Uh, because we have two variables we can't just solve and get a number answer for x or a number answer for y. We first have to be given either an x or a y value to start the problem with. So here we might be told, let's find y when x is equal to 3. Let's find y when x is equal to 3. And so to do this, we would go into the equation, replace the x variable, right? Replace the x variable with that number. In this case, replace the x variable with 3. And then that gives us an equation that only contains y, and we can proceed to solve that equation. Uh, solve that equation. So we simplify. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 3y equals 12. And then continuing, we want to get y by itself. So just like we've done in the past now, we would subtract 6 from both sides. Uh, and when we do that we would get 3y equals 6 and then we can finish the problem off here by dividing both sides by 3 and when we do that we get y is equal to 2 y is equal to 2 All right, 3 cancels from the 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2 so it turns out when x is 3, y is 2 and so we could write that down as a point 3 comma 2 and we're actually going to think of it that way here in just a little bit. But let's consider another example here. So that was one solution, x is 3, y is 2. Let's say we want to find x when y is 0. So we're given a value of 0 for y, or we chose a value of 0 for y. So we go into our equation, 2x plus, and again what we're doing here is replacing the y now in our equation with 0, so that becomes 3 times 0. Now if you wanted to, you could skip ahead. Since it's 3 times 0, then it's just completely gone. And we have 2x equals 12. And then we solve that equation for x by dividing both sides by 2. And that gives us our solution here, x equals 6. So now we have a second point. x is 6, y is 0. Okay, a second solution to the equation. So we're going to continue picking values for x and y. So the third time here, maybe I decide to say, hey, find x when y is equal to 4. So this time I've decided that uh, I'm going to put in a y value of 4. Okay, so we go into our equation. And again, what we're doing is we're going back to the equation now. In this case, replacing y with 4. Replacing y with 4. And then we're going to proceed to solve that equation. So we simplify 3 times 4. We get 2x plus 12 equals 12. And then we want to solve that equation uh, by getting x by itself, so we bring the 12 over by subtracting it, and when we do, it just completely disappears from both sides, leaving us with the equation 2x equals 0. And then we just continue to simplify here, divide both sides by 2, and we get x equals 0. So at this point, we've found three different solutions for this equation. The first example, x was 3, y was 2, so 3, 2. Uh, x was 6, y was 0 in the second one. And then x is 0, y is 4 here in the third one. 
we're going to continue in another video where we're going to find a couple more points and then we're going to actually look at graphing those points.